Boom, big H back again. Come on, man, 33 and that active. Yo, man's feeling a lot better from yesterday still. Yesterday, man, just going through the motions, you know what I mean? But today, it's just a new day in it, so we'll just have to tackle with what today has, has to offer in it. But today, yeah, I can't even lie, today is a banging topic still. Manifestation. I know it's something that a lot of people are trying to you know, master. It's not that I'm trying to master myself. Let me not even lie. Like, I'm still... I'm still learning, but... You know, we can learn together. You get me? Basically... Um, basically, manifestation, right? You are... To manifest something, it all starts in the mind first. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, obviously, first and foremost, you have to... Um, you have to envision what you want to bring to reality, you feel me? But the common misconception or, yeah, the common misconception that people have about manifestation is that all they think that all they have to do is think and then it comes through. Do you know what I'm saying? That is the... You couldn't be further away from the truth, let me lie to you. Obviously, for manif manifestation to work here, you need three things. You need three things. You need... Of course, your thoughts, you need your thoughts to, you need to envision what you want. You need a force, you need an assistant force with you. So obviously, I don't really care about what your religion is. I don't really care um, what, how you address this force. However, you need that force with you. You cannot do it by yourself. You can't do it with just your flesh alone because... And nothing's really gonna happen for you. Get me. You need a force behind you, and I I usually say use the positive force. But you know, if you want to use the negative one, then do you. You're still manifesting. Get me. But starts with your seed, your thoughts, which are your seeds. Then you have the force. I like to call that the water. To water your seed, and then you need the action. You need to get moving. Like, think it, have the force back you, and then execute. You get me? Now, um, the thing about that, yeah, a lot of people do that and they don't see the results. That's probably even why, like, yesterday, like, I, I was feeling the way that I was feeling. Because, obviously, like, I'm not getting back the rewards that I thought, you know, I would have had by now. But I digress. Um... It's them ones for you um for manif your manifestations to actually come through you need to keep drilling at it you know what i'm saying you need to keep going again and again and again also you need to also um any discordant energies within your body you need to make sure that that's balanced you know what i'm saying um to be a manifester you have to be a master a master of reality to master reality you can't there's no way anyone can master reality and then your emotional body is all out of whack or your mental body is all out of whack. You have mental, like mental fog. Um, your emotional body is all out of place. Your physical body is not really dead there. When I say like your well-being physically is not there. Um, needs, all of that needs to be balanced first and foremost. Um, um, and also... Um, you need to have positive intent. When you have positive intent, then of course, um, the forces of nature is on your side, man, because every, nature is love. Nature is love. So nature responds to love and it, and it responds against what's opposite of love. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, how manifestation I've worked in my life, right? I've been on this path for what? Uh, I'd like to say a year, a year properly, like I've probably started properly meditating for a year now, and let me not lie, like, I, like you can, you can see why, like it's them ones, you have to give it time, let me not lie to you, but I remember when I lost my job, beginning of this year, and the pandemic hit, do you get me, um, but when I lost it, um, you could go back to that video and pre, you know. 
when I lost it, you heard me say in the video, I have no fear for the future. I'm going to manifest a new one. Do you get me? But I can't lie, like, I was still new to the techniques and um, releasing the scolded energies in my body and all of that. So it took a while to manifest, but by a while, I mean six months. If you look at, if you look at the time span of six months, you'll think six months is not that long, but when you're going through the motions through six months, it felt like fucking forever. Do you get me? However, I know for a fact, yeah, if, if I was not working on myself during that time and my mind was riddled with fear, and I started applying for all these jobs with fear in my mind, and then I go to these interviews, fear in my mind, despair and all of that. I would not be in the position that I'm in right now. Do you get me? That's one form of manifestation. Another form of manifestation. Obviously, I ask to manifest the best relationships that I could attract to myself. And obviously, when I started ask, um, putting that energy out there, I lost most of my friends, let me not lie to you, because their energy was not resonating with mine. But they got replaced. <laughs> you get me? They got replaced with some new people that have come in my life at the moment still. Let me not lie to you. And I, like, you can, you can see, I can see the small, small, small changes that's going on in my life personally. And this is because obviously I've been working on myself as much as I can anyways. Because remember, all of this year is an ebb and floating. Like, you, sometimes you take two steps forward and a step back. So it's not, it hasn't been all the way smooth sailing but I, i'm trying my best to get me and it's got me at this point so um that's what i've learned from manifestation from myself at this point in my life um of course i'm still learning i'm still um i'm still trying to get more information i'm still becoming a self-master of this reality you get me so the more that I'm in tune with myself, the, the easier manifestation comes for me. You see me? But anyways, that, that's all I had to say for manifestation. If you want to manifest, listen, it starts from the inside first. You cannot, you cannot control, you can't influence, sorry, the outer, your outer reality. When your inner reality is all out of whack, you can't even control your emotions or you can't even control your mental. Talk to of trying to control um, the outside reality and trying to manifest things towards you. You get me? So, of course, first, start with yourself. Inner work first. Clear the golden energies. Um, attune yourself to the force. I don't care what you call it, but attune yourself to that force. Um, visualize what you want. And then when you see yourself, when you see what you're visualized, go for it. And just go for it. Do you get me? And then watch beautiful things happen to you. But anyways, man, that's Big H. Fair fear and that. Man's out.